like I said, still more room for growth. Right. Um, can't wait to the next fight. You know, <laughs> the goal is to get truck to ten fights. And then we see where we at. That's the goal. That's the foundation. We building the house. You know what I'm saying? So right now we get to them ten fights, and then we know what we want to do. I know what we want to do, but again, you got to build a foundation. You can't put the house together unless the foundation is strong. So what do you mean by that? Like as far as designing or stepping it up or what? No, I'm saying you got to go through them transition of seeing different type of opponent. And then you got to remember, we just came from having 200 and something amateur fights. Grand switch over to being a pro. So we got to get them not out of the essence. Like you're in a hurt sport. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? And you're not fighting little boys. You're fighting grown men. Right. That's coming to the table with something on their mind too. Right. So again, we had to teach them like, okay, you got to go in there and perform. Right. That's what people want to want to see. Right. So that's what we're working on to get him get him out there to get his notoriety up. To um, show that, that he's the real deal. I talked to Eddie Hearn yesterday. Um, he's very, he was very excited to you know what I'm saying see Lorenzo fight. He said he wants to sign him. Uh, what did he say to uh, Lorenzo after his win? All right, he 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 liked what he's seen, so we ready to see what's next. You know what I'm saying? You're a businessman, right? You still want to see, you know. So right now. I ain't seen no paperwork. We ain't go to the table. Raheem didn't say anything to me about anything. Um, just gotta wait and see. Let it play out. Let it play uh, you, out. you were just on a PBC card, right? Yes. Last fight. How does that work out? How do you switch from card to, to card without being signed? I am, I'm, I don't get in the business part. It's business. That's just like, I might like uh, Cadillacs. You might like a BMW. You know what I'm saying? But you my boy, so if we gotta go somewhere, I'm gonna jump in the BMW and get what we gotta what? Go at. It's whatever lane they choose to be in and be happy at. You understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they the one getting there and taking the punches. I take that out of the floor, is what you call it, you know? You gotta worry about what's good for you. You know, if it's good for you, it's good for you, you know? Um, I'm just trying to just work it out. You know, because we got a lot of kids, we got a lot of fighters that's coming up. We, we can't be everywhere, but we try to work it out, you know, make it happen. Now, speaking of the zone, uh, a the zone fighter, Tevin Farmer, is calling out Tank. You're, you're Tank's trainer. How do you feel about that? Have you have they asked you any questions like, hey, can no. you get Tank in there? Or? No, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I know you don't do any of the business because again, I respect what Floyd and Al does with Tank, and he signed with them guys. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you know, that's, that's the middle line, and that's that's what makes me so successful. You stay out of that type of stuff because that's not your lane. Right. My job is when they come in that gym is to get them ready for whoever in front of them. Right. Bottom line. What were your thoughts when you heard that Eddie Hearn was coming to the DMV area to throw a card? Um, it's business. Get me saying, right now I got a fight on the card. I'm happy. <laughs> Shucks, if I could have got two fighters on the card, I'd have been even happier. You know, um, again, it's good for business. Um, what does that do for the city, uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia? Um, it gives them something to look forward to. You know, um, it's. As a businessman, he's trying to get everybody to know what he's doing and know who he is. So he got to do what he's doing, you know. Um, again, um, we have to wait and see. How soon can you see Tank truck back in the race? Um, soon as somebody set us off. <laughs> you know, we ain't, we ain't locked down to nobody right now. You know, if the, if the, if the, if the time is right, right now, my energy and all our energy from our team is shifting to go with Tank now. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to get him ready. You got a mandatory you come in, so all focus going on him right now. Um, we got other guys with fight coming up, but they understand. We go in camp with him. If you notice, the last camp, all this was what together. You know, to, to focus on what the, the task at hand, and that's the next task at hand. Um, Tank was still on vacation doing his thing. We focus on truck. We got Malik Hawkins. He coming up with this fight. He's going. You'll see. Just sit back and watch what we do. Because we understand that we got to make sure they are ready for whatever situations that they're in. Now, we spoke about this a little bit off the record, but Gary Russell's been calling out Tank. He's had a lot to say. What do you think of, what is your response to it as Tank's trainer? What is your response to a potential matchup between Gary Russell and Tank? It's going to happen. I'm not the man that makes all that happen. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time for it to happen, I just want to say, yo, we got to fight Gary. Okay, get ready for it then. That's what I do. It's no different from anything that I do, you know, because at the end of the day, they fighters. 
Right. At the end of the day, they fighters. Right now, I'm waiting for Gary to relinquish his belt. Okay, he gets serious then. I'm waiting for him to fight at 130. He gets serious yet. I didn't see none of that yet. So, it is what it is. How big is that fight for the city? Oh, it's, it's up to how they promote it. You gotta promote it to get the city to come out. But I already know Washington 27th of July will Tank bring out at his city. You know what I'm The number speaks for itself. You know, you look at Gary and Ruxell numbers and look at Tank numbers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sense. Now you have, now you have Tank and you have Truck. Are there any similarities in boxing style? Nah, personality? Personality, yes. Okay. But boxing style, it's different. They learn off of each other, you know. We got Malik Hawkins in the gym. All them, all three of them, they like the three-headed monster. They grew up together. You know what I'm saying? They've been with us since day one. Um, Malik Tank Hawkins, is just, Tank. Yeah, Tank is just a fourth runner. You know what I'm saying? Um, Malik is coming out of his situation. He about to make a run. Pay attention to him. Pay attention to him. If y'all watch his last two fights, he, he won a couple of belts. So that says a lot about him. You know what I'm saying? Now, now we're ready to make a double move. So again, just sit back and watch what we do. Fight a couple weeks ago, I had a chance to talk to you afterwards. Um, what did you think of the fight? And you know what I'm saying? Was it? I well, J Rock, my Muslim brother, he came. I was very uh, he came prepared. Right. You know, y'all gotta remember, he hit, took a bad loss with the Charlo brothers. And don't you know, take a loss like that. You gotta redeem yourself. He took this training seriously. Y'all seen it? Um, was that the worst herd you seen? Did he not take that seriously? Or? I wouldn't say he didn't take it seriously because I wasn't in his camp. You know what I'm saying? Herd, I, that's like that's like my uh, hero in a sense. Herd is like you know I like the way he carry it inside the ring and outside the ring. Um, I don't know what happened. He just had a bad night that night. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it didn't. It didn't. Didn't look like himself. It, it didn't. Didn't look like Herd. But like I. Had I tip my hat to um, J Rock? He came out. He came out. He looked. It, he looked it superb. And it was the month of Ramadan. Yeah, <laughs> wow, yeah. So I know what type of focus he had. You get what I'm saying? You know, I know what type of focus he had. He was very focused and determined. And you can hear it in his um, his um, interviews. Y'all hear his interviews? It was, it was serious. You know, he was being serious of how he felt. A very emotional. Like, you know, so. What he did, you know, he's showing him whatever situation you be in, fight. Fight, and he did that. Now, speaking of her, I just learned that Lorenzo has sparred her before. Yeah. I know what goes on in the gym stays in the gym. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but I gotta ask, um, again, what did it look, it look like in the ring once they, when Jared Hurd sparred Lorenzo? Uh, they like what they see. They like what they see as a young fighter coming up. Got a lot of potentials, and I thank my brother Nesso and her to let him know, like, young, keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right track. So that's a good thing. But you hear from a four-time world champion. You know what I'm saying? I asked Truck, did he hang in there with him? He was like, that's cute. Yeah, hang yeah. in there with him. <laughs> Fuck you, me. <laughs> Truck, look forward to getting that type of work to see where he at. You know what I'm saying? And what we got to get work. You know, only person I know, he said that he, 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 he that gave him some real work was Terrence Crawford. And the averages, though. He say, he say, when I talk about Spencer him, he always talk up for, um, because he's been in front of him. You know, you can't tell a fighter when they've been in front of him. They know, they know the difference, you know. But he sit there and say, yo, it's good. that's a great fight. You know, so I got to respect that from a fighter and a coach because he got a chance. Like, I try to get out of Man Chitron, try to try to get out on him, and he, he let us know. And I always tell the older fighter, you get a young fighter in front of him, don't play with him because he's trying to measure himself.